All right, how's it going? I got I got a good one for you. The title ought to be a pretty good indication of what this is like. So, <clears throat> there was an artist on Facebook. I can't remember his name. I was going to pull up his page, but I can't remember. But he did a... Uh, he He's like a painter. He paints pretty regularly. And he did a painting of what he thought Trump would think of himself as, and like very vibrato and stuff. And then he posted it, and I remember him saying that he got like a lot of hate from it, mainly from the left. So I thought that was pretty interesting. So I've been doing... If you've been following me, I've been like messing with like more and more digital. <clears throat> so back in, I think it was a few months ago, I finished this. I did like a, I did like a digital Photoshop painting of Trump where he's like holding or hugging the flag or whatever. And uh, I had it there for a while. Yeah, it was like you know whatever. And I decided to post it on this like local art page. And you probably realize that most artists, or it seems that artists are very supposed to be liberal and hippy dippy and stuff. And well, it it didn't disappoint. Uh, I posted it. Today is January fifteenth. I got really busy. I got really busy with work, but I posted this on December nineteenth. And I was giving it like a, I was gonna give it like a day or so and like comment because I got a pretty good amount, pretty good amount of comments. But I guess it got too spicy and the uh if you can see down here like the admin turned off commenting so <clears throat> i figured the best way to respond to this is make a video going over some of the uh <clears throat> comments and stuff so let's uh let's get into it but there's quite a bit of uh there's some tds in here for sure if you don't like trump that's fine but some of this is just fucking crazy like some of these people i can only assume because I live in Columbus, Ohio, uh, some of these people probably like have only lived here in their entire life, and they live in a bubble, and maybe they're like in a little echo chamber, and know the same ten to fifteen people that seem the same thing. Then, if they, I would advise like to get out into the world. I'm like I've lived in a couple of different places in the U.S. And I've lived, you know, abroad, <clears throat> like lived and visited like Europe, and Middle East, Africa, and stuff, and. I mean, just the way some of these people think is just, uh, it's kind of crazy. But there's some of them that are like, so, there's, I think it's funny. Like, I think they're being serious when they say it, but it's just so ridiculous. But we'll get into it. Uh, they're talking about him stealing money from nonprofits. And there's a bunch of people that goes into that. Even veterans groups. Don't forget children cancer research too, because why stop at veterans? There's like his supporters live in such a bizarre separate planet that they probably don't even understand this comment. And I keep seeing this too, and I think uh, the Project Veritas just came out with a thing today or yesterday where they had like Bernie supporters talking about they're going to like re educate Trump supporters and put them in gulags and kill them. Like, and they call like conservatives and stuff like the crazy, racist, bigoted ones. And like, it's with Antifa too. They do, if you read 1984, they do a lot of doublespeak. They'll say, They'll call you, it's a lot of projecting, they'll call you like what they are. Like if they call somebody racist, there's a pretty good chance they themselves are racist. And it has to do with like, like the racism, like was it soft, ex uh, the bigotry of soft expectations. Like they're like, oh, black people can't get us a state government ID, they're not able to. You tell me black people can't get a fucking ID? Like it's fucking, it's fucking bizarre, I don't know what the hell. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, our millionaire president stole money from veterans and kids with cancer. You cool with that? Because I'm not. And they go into that, which that doesn't really have to do with the painting itself. They just go back and forth over that. <clears throat> oh, I do want to point out, too, that if you look at the 57 here, there's 23 people laugh at it, then like one sad, one angry. And that makes up the 25 likes, not including the seven hearts. So numerically, by this metric, I'm uh, I'm in the good, but the comments aren't. So let's go back down to this. Uh, yeah, this person kept bringing up the flag code. They're like, art is subjected to military code. Weird, that would be very limited to expression. Uh... Pictures can't speak for themselves in a visual art group. 
Somehow in the daily daily avalanche of the last three years, I miss this. What are they? Hmm. Yeah, one would hope this would just be an artistic interpretation of his feelings towards the flag, but he really does this. I think what they're trying to get at, like they keep bringing up the flag code, and the flag code basically tells you, you know, you're supposed to fold it a certain way, you're supposed to hold it a certain way, you're not supposed to take up an actual, you're not supposed to like cut up an actual flag to make other things with. And I've seen like a lot of leftists, I guess, like there's like American flag design on a shirt. They're like, oh, the code, the code. Like you can use the design of the flag as saying not to destroy or cut up a cup flag. I think they're what try they're trying to get at like him hugging the flag is like, oh, they're trying to like, they're trying to all of a sudden be very patriotic when generally they're not. And like, oh, he's hugging the flag. He's like, like, yeah, you can, it's. Yeah, you can hug the flag. Don't, like, rip it off and throw it on the ground. But, like, the leftists are usually the ones for, like, stepping on the flag and burning the flag. But Trump hugs it. Oh, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. It's also, like, 1 o'clock in the morning, so I'm trying not to be, like, super loud, too. <clears throat> Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh... Generally, presidents of any party are expected to follow basic military protocol. They're the head of the military. It's not an artistic interpretation. It's an attempt at realistic, accurate portrayal of a real person who really does this. Yeah, because he's trying to show that he loves America by hugging the flag and protecting freedom. But I don't know. Like this one. Are you legitimately praising him here or being sarcastic? Because heaven forbid you just do a representation of him. There's another thing, too, that comes up to, like, because there was another person, another reason I posted this, this is a person for it. I went to look to see if I could show it, too, but I think they've taken it down. They did, like, this weird thing. It was, like, Trump and, like, Voldemort, too. There was, like, all these people, like, praising it. Like, to them, unless you're not, like, disgusted by and ripping on Trump, like, all the time, like, something that's, like, I mean, you could say this is positive of him, but you can also this, you can also say this is kind of like a pretty neutral painting of him. It's not him like with explosions and all the stuff behind his back, and he's doing you know like a heroic pose or anything. It's just a picture of him like hugging the flag or whatever. But if you're not if you're not like strongly discrediting him or some shit like that, then you're like, oh, you must be praising him. Why would you praise him? Then someone goes, "This is someone's artwork to have respect." You, I'm, you can critique it all you want. You can critique the technique, the subject matter. That's fine. Like I have no problem with people saying what they want to about art and stuff. But like some of them got like so off subject. You'll see. <clears throat> then there's like agreed, don't like it, move on. Agreed. Yeah, critique of subject matter is still critique. It's part of the critique, yes. Uh, art and politics have always been closely intertwined. Artists celebrating fascist would-be dictators with propaganda-like drawings deserve to be called out. Because now I am a fascist... <laughs> I'm an artist celebrating fascist would-be dictators with propaganda-like drawings. Yeah, because if you're an artist, if you're an American artist that depicts the president like has happened since the beginning of America. It's always happened, but if you do it now, you're you're propaganda art you're a propaganda artist. That's I think that's gonna be the title too. This is just fucking insane. <clears throat> uh they're like absolutely not just because it's art doesn't magically mean it can be can't be judged as shitty. That's true. Although mine's not I, I'm I'm good at my technique. Uh Confederate statues of art. Uh I mean, maybe. Uh, but they should still be torn down. That's, uh, uh, maybe. Just, I don't know. Destroyed and erased from history? No, they should not be. Nope. Whether you like it or not, history's history. Bucko. Uh, so yeah, if this person genuinely supports Donald Trump, I'd like to know. I have a right to know who I'm giving my money to. Not to me. Uh, as I don't want to support a person who supports an ideology I'm vehemently opposed to. So <clears throat> that's the that's the thing about the left or leftists, like they're getting into this. 
Look at this like free edu or free education, free healthcare for everyone. Healthcare is a human right. Open border socialism. That's that in itself is just terrible. Like socialism is evil, essentially, because you don't have the right to someone else's uh, labor, because that's what socialism is, and it's never worked too. And it and it killed like a hundred million people in the last century as well. But I think it's a brunk a bunch of like broke postgraduate college students that have like a lot of debt and they just don't pay for it. So they're like, ah, oh, free college, free education, free student, student loan forgiveness and all this stuff. <clears throat> if they're not a fan of that POS, then a dialogue should be open and explain how this is a poor choice of subject. Because, because the propaganda artist thing here, I'm thinking about making some actual like kind of propaganda art kind of like shepherd fairy's hope poster is very that was propaganda and like the flat images and the colors and the it being a poster and being plastered everywhere but now nah, it's there's hope that's obama that's great if you do it with trump or somebody i don't like then no because a lot of this stuff happened during the i wasn't active in the art scene then but a lot of this stuff happened with the bush area because if you support bush oh my god you're you're racist and all this fucking shit uh, if my band wrote lyrics with the n-word or any other slur then we would be judged accordingly the content of what you create is pretty fucking important the n-word oh my god oh my god is he gonna say it is he gonna say no oh my god i am maybe there's the difference i am very much super pro free speech so Without inciting violence, without, you know, like open threats, I think anybody can say anything they want. That's my take on it. The hands are too big compared to the real DT. The neck also looks too smooth. He has a more flappy, like 80 year old. That's the thing. Like, oh, he's, he's got small hands. He's so old and ugly. He's orange man, bad, orange man, bad, orange man, bad. If you're not, like, depicting them in a super negative light, are you a fascist? <clears throat> Doing that to the American flag is so disrespectful. No, it's not. Kneeling on the flag is disrespectful. Kneeling for the national anthem, that's disrespectful. Stepping on the flag, that's disrespectful. Burning the flag, that's disrespectful. But for them, no, 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 that's freedom of speech. That's different. An example of Soviet art. Here's some of that double speak I was talking about. Because I guarantee there's, I guarantee there's like positive like AOC stuff and like the Obama hope poster. Grabbing our flag by the polsies, disrespectful. I don't. It like him hugging the flag. It's like oh my god. I mean I'll burn it, but oh my god he hugged it. It's a stab at his likeness, but he needs to look more like a smug bowling ball bag. Also, more they're the same thing, same thing. Oh, if you're gonna, if you're gonna depict them, it'd better be a like a terrible depiction of them. <clears throat> uh, be careful if this is not your actual photo. If you are using another, or if you used another photograph, look at what happened to Shepard Ferry. There are copyright laws on use. Yeah, if you're making monetary, because he got paid to make the hope poster so there's a monetary aspect to it but if you're not making any money then you can do it like if i was trying to like sell these in mass or whatever then yeah there'd be an issue with that or if it is original character or original design like the whole <clears throat> i did a art podcast on it last year about the uh alec jones had a poster that somebody made that had the pepe uh character in it since it was an actual character created by somebody else and there's like a lawsuit with that and it got taken down so, uh, it says copyright requires at least manipulation, not reiteration of original. I can't remember the percentage off the top of my head. I mean, it's a, it's a painting or drawing or whatever you like from scratch. So I think I'm good. Mm. Uh, the copyright rules for this kind of work are quite simple. If there's anything left in your creation that would allow... Anyone to identify the source material. As long as you change it, I think it's like 
As long as you change that much, you're good. Then you have infringed on the copyright of the person who created the original. End of story. Whether you have but 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 yeah, they had to look into uh, uh, Richard Prince does a lot of stuff where he takes photos and reappropriates them as his own original artwork. It's like, oh, I get it. This is just your latest dumpster fire. On a, on a sincere note, I do like your dumpster paintings on your page. Yeah, I was doing a lot of landscape stuff for a while. Like dumpsters and production, which I planned on doing, but with this whole political and like people wanting to like like make hate speech laws, I'm like, nah, that ain't happening. Then if I have to make I've almost I almost feel like I've been dragged into like making art that because it used to be the liberals used to be the ones that like stood up for free speech and now the the liberals, the leftists now are like the ones that are like wanting to create hate speech laws. Which is funny because if for some reason I mean it I hate speech isn't a real thing. Let's let's be honest. But if some reason it got through and there were like hate speech laws or whatever it's hilarious and like it because Twitter is a pretty good example of where it kind of like if you like misgender a transgender person by their standards, then they consider that hate speech and they'll like ban you or whatever. But it's only their like leftist perspective that person that was born a guy then like wears a dress and makeup and identifies as a woman. They say if you still like the dead naming too, that if you call them like if you were to call. Caitlyn Jenner, Bruce Jenner, that's dead naming. That's misgendering them. But that's only through their political ideology because if you look at the other side, Bruce is still a guy. I mean, Bruce still has a dick. Bruce was born with the dick. He has, you know, XY chromosomes. Then calling him a woman is actually truly misgendering him. And that's a whole debate. Uh, respect their artwork. Talent is talent. Actually... Really like the hair painting. The controversy only makes it artier. It looks nice even though the subject isn't winning any people's choice awards. Ha ha ha. <clears throat> Asshole has defiled our flag. They keep bringing that up. They're like all of a sudden like if Trump hugs it all of a sudden they're like super patriotic now. I mean I don't want to keep bringing it up. But this might be pro-Trump but it most certainly does not read that way. The fact that it can go either way makes it art to me. I think this one's uh he looks like a greedy child hoarding his candy. They have like this this like distorted lens. I don't know. Here's another thing too. <clears throat> uh, if you want to go like Trump versus Obama, like Obama was an eloquent speaker, but he had terrible policies. And they're so I don't know if it's naive or it's gullibility, but if someone speaks eloquently, eloquently, eloquently but they do horrible stuff. They can't see past that or they don't care. Because a lot of them bring up, not in here, but like a lot of leftists bring up, you know, child separation or putting people in cages at the border, even though that was like under the Obama administration. Because originally Obama was like putting them in cages as the whole family. And the Supreme Court itself said you can't do that. Only the adults that are being charged can be. And they had like, that's when they separated the children. And this was just continued on during the Trump administration. But as soon as he started doing it, oh, it's this terrible, horrible thing. There's even an interview. I can't remember what news organization it was, but they like sat down with Obama. And he said, don't tell your children to come here because they may die trying to come here. But whether people didn't pay attention to it, just didn't care. Then with, <clears throat> and with Trump now, he's like kind of a brash brute straight talking individual that a lot of people don't like the harshness of him speaking and like if he makes fun of somebody or something like that but he has like great policies but it's like they can't get past the the speech or whatever you know grab him by the pussy or whatever it is so where was I at uh he looks like a greedy child hoarding his candy, knowing the artist intended this to be pro-Trump by painting him this way. It's so fascinating. Well, you don't know that because it's just, it's just kind of a, it's a neutral painting. But in their eyes, anything that's neutral has to be positive. 
Crazy how a portrait can twist and turn based on the perspective of the viewer. Trump people. The Trump people are crazy now. The Trumpsters, or the Drumpsters, or whatever they call them, like all their crazy, racist, bigot, xenophobes. Unless they come across somebody that's gay, or that's black, or there's a woman, or that is a transgender person that's a Trump supporter, then they like... They're like brain, they're like, <laughs> their brain like short fires and like, oh, you must have like, oh, they'll call like black people Uncle Toms. They'll say women have like, why do you hate women? Why do you have like internalized, you know, was it misogyny or patriarchy or whatever it is? Uh, crazy how a portrait can twist and turn based on the perspective of the viewer. For some reason, this looks like love, love a country, love America, which that's what him hugging the flag is like representing. But for me, he's holding the flag close to the pole, not allowing it to fly as it was intended. I mean, it's inside. It's not flying anyway. Beauty of the fl I like, they're so, they hate the flag. Not maybe this individual person, but the left is like, hate the flag, hate America. But all of a sudden, like, he, he, like, he's, it's, it's, I keep reiterating, but it's kind of crazy. The beauty of the flag is trapped under his grasp he's controlling almost like smirking the viewer he's been given the background of a school picture pushing that feeling of childlike ignorance as i see his pure sarcasm and humor poking fun at trump i just made kind of my whole focus is just the image in the background it's just kind of a something that's there so it's not white i kind of tried playing around with uh i was trying to do like some red and white stripe that just kind of was distracting too this may be a long one. I'm not sure. Hmm. We are living in a world too absurd for parody. Oh my god, the look on his face. And there's still this. Then it started getting into like back and forth, like little meme things. How y'all look defending Trump? Don't touch my garbage. He's like, I'll brainwash. It's sad to see. Well, Columbus is a very... It's a metropolitan area, so they're usually more on the liberal side. also have a theory, too, that, like... I think there's a huge thing with, like, leftists. Like, they're still controlled by peer pressure. That if someone says something, they kind of, like, go along with it. Maybe it's the reason we're, like... They like kind of mass in cities. I mean, I'm kind of in it too, but I'm like, I was just here. I mean, like, of course, the big cities are like better job opportunities and art scene and stuff. But if you're a conservative artist, and I mean, look what they're doing at like Chris Pratt when he was saying something, they're like throwing crap at him because he's like, but I'm not like a Christian. I'm not like, I don't, I'm not religious. So, and we got this. He's trying to like, where is it at? It's like a third of Americans oppose the Revolutionary War. A third of Americans oppose slavery. A third of Americans oppose voting for women's whites. A third of Americans oppose the Civil Rights Movement. Which is kind of funny. I'm, I I don't know the affiliation of this person, but... I mean... The Republican Party was the party that formed in, in opposition to uh, slavery... A third of Americans, like a lot of women, didn't want the right to vote because they didn't want the duties that came with it, like bucket duty and all that. A third of Americans opposed the Civil Rights Movement, which a lot was Democrats. I think it's like the Southern Dixiecrats or whatever they call them. I mean, a lot of people don't know that, like, I mean, I'm getting way off subject here, but like, you know, the KK Party, the KKK Party was formed by the Democrats. Uh, like Jim Crow laws, all that stuff was Democrats. I mean, they were like the party of slavery stuff too. But the Democratic Party in the last, I don't know, a couple of decades has been like, they're like, they're like really good at like branding themselves and like the whole doublespeak and everything I was talking about earlier and getting in the media and Hollywood and all that stuff and like pushing like a narrative out to people. The most people don't have the time or the patience to actually look in and dig into the history and stuff too. So that's, as years pass and decades pass, like they just keep... You just keep retelling a lie and keep retelling a lie. It eventually becomes kind of like a truth. <clears throat> then we get into more 
I'm like, oh my god, Orange Man Band. Bleh. Didn't know there was where the flags of Janet was located. Learn for something new every day. And they're also uh, like, if you say it goes back to free speech. If you say something, they get they get like super offended, and like it's like hate speech is violence or whatever. Like they equate somebody saying something very offensive as like the same thing. Like they think somebody if you if someone said something very offensive then then that then gives them the right to like punch somebody where they do the whole punch Nazis thing or whatever. Like they can't see the difference between, you know, speech and like physical actions. Then this person's trying to equate all these shootings to him. I mean Let's see here. Do we have the uh, the congressional baseball game by a Bernie supporter? Do we have the guy that attacked the firebomb the facility? It was like AOC. You can't. Then if you want to do this, I can start doing all this other stuff, like all the shootings under Obama, like the Pulse nightclub shooting. Do people blame that on Obama? No. It's like an Islamic guy, and Islam is very opposed to homosexuality. It's the reason why they like throw homosexuals off the roof and hang them over cranes in the Middle East like in Iran and all that. But no, you can't blame it on that. And then this person goes into as someone who lives near Dayton near the Dayton shooting site but was safely at home. The most the most traumatizing part was the president visiting my neighborhood three days later with the crazies that followed him around. Not the actual shooting not the guy that murdered people but the orange man bad was there. That's fucking, that is fucking insane. That is fucking insane. So sorry you had to experience that. Sounds terrifying. Are you fucking nuts? The, the, another gif. It's like this. He's like, mm, not art. Mm -mm. Nope, not art. I don't like it. Mm -mm. Nope, not art. But there are a few people. There's one guy. I guess he took his thing off here. There's one guy, <laughs> I wish I would have screen capped it. I guess some of them got deleted or they deleted themselves. Like, I can't remember. It was something along the lines like, I don't know. He's like, I don't know if I like the art or your balls because you, <laughs> you post this, no one is crawling with Democrats. I guess he, like I said, this is like almost a month ago. I was going to do it earlier, but with the work and everything. But uh, yeah. I wish I would have screen capped that. I might have. I may see if I can like post that in there after that. But yeah, this is kind of. I have. Because I kind of been getting into more digital. And it's kind of. Hard not to start doing like political stuff too. I mean it's 2020 now. And with the election coming up. I have a couple. That you could technically I guess you can call. <laughs> propaganda type stuff that I'm working on. I just think it's funny. But, uh, yeah, let me, we'll see how this, how long this, because I'm like at like close to 30 minutes now, so let's see if I cut it down or not. I don't know. We'll see. I may just throw it up as it is, like I do the podcast, just kind of film it and throw it up, make it a long one. But if you have any <laughs> questions or comments, like post them down below. Uh, what do you think? Is is something art or not art depending on whether you like the subject matter? I don't know, but yeah, I kind of, I kind of want to do this again. Like I said, they closed the comments on here because I guess it got too spicy, so I couldn't like directly answer back because I was giving it like a day to let most of it come through. But they did that, so I figured making a video would be more adequate or something. But uh, yeah, you like it? Give it a like. You really liked it? You subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to get out of this like rut I was talking about and like start posting more I need to like yeah start posting more so uh alright peace don't be a dick unless somebody's a dick to you first I guess I don't know does that count does that work alright later <laughs>